It's time for your board game dessert, everyone. It's game pie time. Of course, this is when Mandy and I serve up a selection of games curated by our good taste and our whims because we don't like doing top 10 lists and we love pastry. And here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. <laughs> Thematically, when we are recording this, we are coming up on the American Thanksgiving holiday, and you know, a lot of times that is a an opportunity for food and for gathering of friends or family, and that sounds like a good opportunity to play some games. So the game pie of the day is games that you could bring to Thanksgiving. That's simple. Mandy and I, I think, interpreted this slightly differently, and that is okay, because that's what we do here. Mandy, would you like to serve the first slice? Sure, and since I'm Canadian, and we don't have Thanksgiving in November, that's right. I figured, hey, I can just be random, and all of these games will work. So, yeah, just take it like that, everybody, and see how it goes. I, I think it'll be good. So the first one on my list is a word game called League of the Lexicon. So you're thinking scratching i don't know this game well that's because it was on kickstarter so you may have heard me talk about the pod podcast before but in league of the lexicon it is literally that so it is technically i guess you'd say a party game but it's one of those things you roll a die pick a category uh and then someone reads you the question sometimes it's a spelling question sometimes it's potentially listing some things that have to do with a specific topic or word lots of really fun things and you're trying to collect cards and whoever collects most of the card set will win the game. So you got to get those questions right. Come from a family who loves the word game. So League of the Lexicon. Yes, I feel I'm, it makes me feel like I'm in that upper echelon of grammar. So I'm here for it. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I, I, you know, approaching this game, I was kind of thinking about if you're going to a gathering and there's a wide range of family, let's say, what are you going to bring for a decent game night and have something that might fit the moment? Well, I got quite the mix here. Let's start off with, Taco, cat, goat, cheese, pizza. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> taco, cat, goat, cheese, pizza is a card game in which cards have a taco or a cat or a goat or a cheese or a pizza. And you are simply putting these cards down and you are saying the word and then you are slapping the card. If it doesn't match, it is a, it is a silly game, folks. It is a very, 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 very silly game. But you know what? It's super duper fun. Anybody can play this. You can play it with kids who are five. You can play it with adults. It's so quick and easy to teach. There is that dexterity speed thing, but it's just so goofy and silly. You can play it for five minutes. You can play it for 10 minutes. You're good to go. And that is why I'm calling it a Thanksgiving Day game. Plus, Mandy, you know, a lot of times we talk about party games or things like that. Yeah. And all of those would be good, too. So Clover, sure. Just One, you mentioned Concept earlier. Yes. All of those games are standards. I think both you and I tried to go a little bit outside of the norm or outside yeah. of things that we normally talk about, right? Exactly, exactly. So, so there you go. So what's up next for you? Next for me is a game I feel like I haven't played in so long, but I was looking at it the other day going, I think I want to pull this out. And it's called Reef. And literally referring to Coral Reef, but that's just the name of it. And it's one of those kind of abstract strategy games that you can play with like family. And you're just trying to match patterns, but using these big chunky plastic pieces on a board to match the pattern. So I, it's simple but a lot of fun. And I like the fact that you can play with the family. So, hey, it's not Thanksgiving here, but maybe y'all can play it. Y'all, wow, look at that. I'm using some American terms for you there. <laughs> That's so terrible. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, so Reef might be one that you might want to play with your family. Awesome. Next slice up for me. You got to have some kind of foul at Thanksgiving, <laughs> right? Oh, my God. F-O-W-L, foul. Chicken! Chicken! Chicken exclamation mark from Keymaster Games. This is an adorable dice rolling pusher luck set collection. It's goofy. It's silly. It's quick. It's easy. It's tactile. It's 
it's just a great, great family game. It comes in a cute little cardboard tube. It's got great design on it. Chicken is one of those games you can play, again, with anybody of any age. Uh, it doesn't have that dexterity speed element where you're going to slap somebody's hand. So maybe a little <laughs> bit better fit for some groups than Taco Cat, Cheese, whatever. Um, Chicken is a huge hit. It's brand new from Keymaster Games. Highly recommend it for family gatherings of any sort, including Thanksgiving. Chicken. Oh my gosh. I got to insert my song here, and I know Nicole listens to the podcast. I know my chicken. You got to know your chicken. Okay, anyway, that's it. So good. I haven't sang it in so long. Thank you, baby. Okay, my third slice of pie. That's not chicken. <laughs> Actually, it's just rat. First rat, to be exact. <laughs> wow, that got aggressive. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, so... <laughs> Oh, gosh. So First Rat is definitely on the other end of the spectrum. It's not a lighter game. It is. It's a definitely a more strategic type game, but I like it because you can play it with lots of players. Uh, it has rats, which I think are actually very cute, uh, but you're trying to make your way up to the top, build your ship, and along the way, you know, grab some tokens and points and all the things. And well, I guess it's to say grab the cheese, but I mean, there is a section for that. You could do that too. <laughs> anyway, long story short, uh, First Rat is considered a strategic type game. That is definitely, I would say it's like more of a medium weight game. But hey, while you're waiting for that dinner to get all tasty and delicious and cooked, play some First Rat. I like it. I like it. Wow. Way to bring that one in. <laughs> yeah, that, that was rough, everybody. I'm so sorry. It's a, it's a really good game. <laughs> Next slice of Thanksgiving games, pie, game, pie. <laughs> uh, it's it's a little late here, folks. <laughs> Marvel Remix. Ooh, now, let's say you go to a gathering and you got some people who are ready to play a little bit more of a game, but it's still busy and hectic and all that other stuff. And you don't want to get anything too big. Marvel Remix is the Marvel themed version of fantasy realms and what this is is just a card game and cards will score different points based on what other cards you end up having in your hand and you're going to collect cards and ditch cards and try to optimize and you're just matching icons it is a little bit more than maybe what i would throw in front of certain people who don't play board games but if you want something that's just a tiny step up that's still quick easy you can play with a lot of different people has that fun marvel thing on it Marvel Remix is a great addition of Fantasy Realms, and I think it would be really fun to bring to Thanksgiving. Good choice. And actually, I will be teaching a family game session at PAX Unplugged, and Marvel Remix is one of the games that I'll be teaching. So pop by and uh, I can teach you how to play if you want to learn. And uh, my last slice of pie, while I was feeling a little chaotic, and this is a game that would definitely make my family fight, but I think they'd like it because I thoroughly enjoy it, and that's Calico. <laughs> And you say, why? Calico is hard. I am very bad at it. And I just feel like it would just be very exciting with my family. So Calico is a puzzly tile laying game where you are have quilts and cats. You're trying to create your quilts, but you're having cats on there too. And I think those things go very well together. So I'm going to use too many details. But as soon as you add puzzle and tile laying to games with my family, oh, I feel like they think it's dominoes and just like, you know, wildness ensues. Not even close to dominoes, by the way. I just feel it's one of those games, though, where like where you're placing your tiles and how you do it matters. And uh, because you're trying to create certain kind of patterns and sets. And I'm real. I am horrendous at this game, but I love it. So good. I can only get better. I'll go up from here. So Calico, quite good. Yeah, love the game. I would play that on Thanksgiving for sure. Maybe right? cozy. All right. Our last slice of games to bring to Thanksgiving game pie. Mondrosity. Mon <laughs> Mondrosity. <laughs> I've never played this game. I've oh my goodness. It. It, it, it's a play on monstrosity and draw. Mon Mondrosity. You get my point. The box is on the screen. You're Thank good. you, Mandy, for that. <laughs> uh, monstrosity is a, a drawing game. And what if basically you get a whole bunch of cards with different goofy monsters on them. Somebody gets to look at the card for a few for like 15 seconds and put yep. it down and then has to describe the monster to everybody else. And everybody else is trying to draw that monster based on what the describer <laughs> says. And then you compare it and you look at it at the end. The, the, there's ways to score it, but who cares? Like, that's not the <laughs> point. This is just fun. You can play any number of people. And you, again, you can play any age, you know, any number 
it's just very approachable, very goofy, very silly, very fun. Drop in, drop out, play for as long or as short as you like, which I think makes it a great game to play on Thanksgiving. That's Monstrosity. <laughs> I, yeah, it's good. That's good. It's a fun it game. Sounds fun. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. Hopefully that gave you some ideas of slightly different games that you might want to consider for your holiday gathering if you have it or just your chill Friendsgiving. Right, Mandy? Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving. Exactly. Sure. There you go. If you have other ideas on games that we should have thought of for this list or tell us what games you actually got to play during yeah. your Thanksgiving. If you did, yeah. I'd love to hear all about that. You can always email us at salt and sass games at gmail.com or join us on our board game geek guild. That's guild 4131 on board game geek.com and chime in. I'd love to hear about your holiday games and Hey, Oh, with PAX Unplug coming up. I'd love to hear any games that you're looking forward to, to seeing at PAX Unplugged. And note, both Mandy and I will be at PAX Unplugged. Yes. So if you are going to be there as well and we cross paths, please stop by and say hi and we'll chat each other up and have a great old time there. Absolutely. But to find us at PAX Unplugged, how are you going to do that? Well, maybe you could check out our social media, huh, Mandy? Oh my gosh, we're on all the socials. So if you want to watch, hey, these game pies, you can check us out at Salt and Sass Games on Twitch and youtube we are also on the twitter yeah that's right the twitter at salt and sass games so salt and sass games you can find me on instagram twitter blue sky all the things at 613 mandy that's mandy with an i how about you suzanne and you can find me on all the social media platforms uh, i am primarily trying to use blue sky more and more now at 425 Suzanne. We know this episode was maybe a little bit of a wild ride, but that just makes us appreciate you so much more for being here with us oh. and, and thinking and, and talking about games with us. Let's be clear, Suzanne. They're used to my randomness. It's your randomness that's going to throw them off. <laughs> oh, just calling out. Jeez Louise, Hi. we're going to we'll have to argue after we hit stop record. <laughs> Not really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But uh, yes, we hope we get to see some of you at PAX Unplugged. If you're celebrating a holiday uh, after you listen to this, we hope that you have a nice holiday. And until next episode, eat some good snacks, stay hydrated, and play lots of games. We'll see you next time. This episode was sponsored by Druid City Games, where player experience comes first. Check out all of their great games at druidcitygames.com.